Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Today, just a brief follow-up video to the video that I did several months ago about Alec Baldwin and the death on the set of the movie Rust. Um, this is going to be a much shorter video, so before the internet decides they want to argue like they inevitably always will and come at me saying, oh, well, you didn't mention this and you didn't mention that and you didn't mention... Go back and watch the other video where it goes into proper set procedures and what happened and and all of that. Now, this is something that I'm very passionate about because for 30 some years, I worked as a stunt actor and stunt coordinator. And I am very, very familiar about how firearms are supposed to be handled on set, how blanks are supposed to be handled, all of that. So I'm very passionate when someone gets injured, or in this case killed, on the set of a movie because it just should not happen. Now, the armorer, whose ultimate responsibility it is to inspect the guns and make sure the guns are safe and that people are using them properly and all that, the armorer's trial just wrapped and they were found negligent and guilty of, uh, of manslaughter in this case. And, um, and, and rightly so. I mean, it, it is the armorer's ultimate responsibility. That day I did exactly what I've done every day of, uh, on that movie. Which is what? Which is that there's an armorer there, and, and that word is new to me. In the years I've been in this What did you call it? It was a prop guy or woman. And the prop person would come and sometimes they would insist on demonstrating for you and the camera crew. They take the gun, if it was a contemporary gun, they show you the chamber, they show you the clip, they say, the gun is cold. And you look and go, thank you. And in the 40 years... Sometimes that would happen. Not all the time. Well, but no, no, sometimes they wouldn't demonstrate to me. Some insisted on demonstrating. They would do the demonstration for everybody there right before we rolled the camera. Or rehearsed. Then there were others who they didn't do that because I trusted them to do the job. I am one of those, though, that also feels that Alec Baldwin, who is going to be going on trial for the same thing in July, is, uh, is also responsible. Now, will he be found guilty? I don't think so. For a, a number of reasons, but, um, but I do believe that he is responsible. Um, you see, now, the, the armorer was found at they brought live rounds onto the set, which should never happen to begin with. Ultimately, ultimately, it's all going to fall back onto that, that there should have never been a live round on set, but there was. However, the case against Alec Baldwin is trying to show that he was also responsible in this since he, as a producer, had further oversight over the project. Um, his ego in all the interviews and stuff like that have always uh, driven him to explain how familiar he is with handguns and how many years he's used them in films and how uh, you know how much training he's had and, and he would never be negligent. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So no. you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. never. That was the training that I had. You don't point a gun at somebody and pull the trigger at them. However, behind the scenes footage shows Baldwin holding the gun when he shouldn't be. I mean, they weren't rehearsing, they weren't shooting having the gun in his hand, using it as a pointer to point at things to people, which you do not do, as well as pointing the gun directly at the person on set. Typically, when you point a gun at someone on set, it's pointed to the side of them, and the camera angle makes up for the difference to make it look like you're pointing it directly at them. Um, there are a lot of things in place to, to uh, prevent that from happening. Now, we know that actors in the moment will get hyped up and they will do unexpected things and not think, which is what happened on the set of, uh, of The Crow with, with Brandon Lee. Same type of thing, a live round was brought on set by Jeff Amata. Um, the actor in the rehearsals and everything pointed the gun to the side of Brandon, pointed the gun to the side of Brandon, pointed the gun to the side of Brandon. As soon as they called action though, pointed the gun directly at Brandon's chest and shot. Um, so, we know that actors are unpredictable, so it eventually falls back on the armorer to make sure everything is, is safe because of actors being unpredictable. Yet, Alec Baldwin says he's an actor and producer that has all this responsibility because he has all this training, yet he pulled the hammer back and then says, well, it wasn't my fault, I didn't pull the trigger. The trigger is not what makes the bullet go off. The hammer is what makes the bullet go off. The trigger 
is just a release mechanism for the hammer. If you hadn't been playing with a hammer while you're pointing the gun at somebody, you're not gonna shoot them. Now in this scene, I'm gonna cock the gun. And I said, do you wanna see that? And she said, yes. So I take the gun and I start to cock the gun. I'm not gonna pull the trigger. I, I said, do you see that? She goes, well, just cheat it down and tilt it down a little bit like that. And I cock the gun, I go, can you see that? Can you see that? Can you see that? And she says, and then I let go of the hammer of the gun and the gun goes off. I let go of the hammer of the gun, the gun goes off. So you have this Colt 45, you just pulled? The hammer as far back as I could without cocking the actual And you're gun. holding on to the hammer. I'm holding that, I'm just showing, I go, how about that? Does that work? Do you see that? Do you see that? And she goes, yeah, that's good. I let go of the hammer, bang, the gun goes off. So, a lot falls into this. Now, is Baldwin gonna be found responsible? Probably not. I mean, um, the Screen Actors Guild has, has said that, uh, you know, they've verified that, that no, it's not the actor's responsibility to inspect the gun and know that it's safe. Now, when I'm doing stunt coordinating and, and handling guns, I always make sure as an extra measure to show the actor that the gun is empty or the gun has blanks in it or that the gun is safe just as another precaution. Um, so, so yeah, that's kind of covering Baldwin. Now, the fact that they have already found the armorer responsible in this case is another out for him. They're going to say, and eh, well, the person ultimately responsible that brought the live round on set has already been found guilty. So Baldwin's good to go. Um, it's one reason why they wanted these cases to happen simultaneously so that a verdict could be found. Um, but is he responsible? You say you never pulled the trigger, but the gun went off. Right. Baldwin spoke on a podcast hosted by former CNN anchor Chris Cuomo. That will right. not make sense to people. If a bullet comes out of a gun, they say, well, then someone fired. You're familiar it in your with hands. this did not come from me. This came from the DA's office themselves. You're familiar with what fanning a gun is. Have you heard of that phrase, fanning a gun? Yes, but explain. So it. if you pull the hammer back and you don't lock the hammer, if you pull the hammer back pretty far, in old Western movies, you'd see someone fan the hammer of the gun. The hammer didn't lock you pulled it back to an extent where it would fire the bullet without you pulling the trigger. In my opinion, I believe so, because as I said, you know how a gun works. You stated you know how a gun works. You pointed it directly at the person and you pulled the hammer back and let it go. Pulling the hammer back and letting it go is what makes the bullet fire. If you hadn't have done that, the bullet would have not gone off and, and killed her. So um, it's gonna be really interesting to see how this case plays out in July with Baldwin. Um, I will not be surprised though if he's not found guilty. So I would love to hear your opinions. Go ahead and post your opinions in the comments section underneath the video. Um, I would love to read them, see what you think about it. Um, everybody be nice because we know it's the internet and people are gonna be ugly just because they think they can anonymously on a keyboard. Anyway, but let me know what your thoughts are on the subject. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. But thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.